Thank you very much, Sister Thea, for that wonderful opening. I'm sure na ready-ready na po tayong lahat para sa ating service ngayong hapon. Amen? Amen! To all our visitors po sa online, lahat po ng mission natin, churches, good afternoon, a blessed afternoon to everyone. And of course, all the members and all our visitors here, a blessed afternoon. Let's all stand, please. Sabay-sabay po natin bigkasin ang Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Romans 12, 1. Ready, begin. Kaya nga mga kapatid, ipinamamanik ko sa inyo, alang-alang sa mga kapagan ng Diyos, na inyong iharap ang inyong mga katawan na isang haing buhay, banal na kaaya-aya sa Diyos, na siya ninyong katapatang pagsamba. At para naman po sa pahayag ng puso sa pagsamba, sabay-sabay po tayo, ready, begin. Sasambayin ko ang Diyos sa Espiritu at Katotohanan, sasambayin ko ang Diyos ng may malinis na puso at kalooban, Sasambahin ko ang Diyos sa pagpupuri at awitan. Sasambahin ko ang Diyos ng may mataas na paggalang. Sasambahin ko ang Diyos sa pagbibigay sa aking paraangalan. Sasambahin ko ang Diyos at salita niya'y pakikinggan. Pusong delisa ang aking nais nalikain mo Diyos para sa akin pusong nalisay ang aking nais nalikain mo Diyos para sa akin isang Pusong tapat na sa yoy nagmamahal, isang pusong sa yoy walang alinlangan, isang pusong itinitibok na ikay para ngalan, handog ko'y pagpupuri sa yoy lamang, Jesus. Handog ko'y pagpupuri sa iyo lamang, Jesus. Handog ko'y pagpupuri sa iyo lamang, scripture reading, uh, I will be reading the book of Psalm, Psalm 131, Psalm 131, um, and the word of the Lord says, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters, or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is wind of his mother, My soul is even as a wind child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. Tayo po'y lumapit sa ating Panginoon. Diyos na mga pangyarihan at dakila sa lahat, maraming salamat po sa hapong ito na muli niyo po aming uh, pinagsama-sama para kayo po'y sambahin, mahal na Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, Lord, sa hapong ito na kami po'y ibinalik niyo sa aming bahay sambahan. Lord, uh, humingi po kami ng kapatawaran sa aming mga asalanan, sa aming mga pagkukulang mahal na Panginoon. Pagkalinisin niyo po, Lord, ang aming puso't isipan, Lord, upang may karapat dapat po kami sa inyong pisensya, mahal na Panginoon. Lord, inilalapit ko po, mahal na Panginoon, ang programa po namin, Lord, mula sa pag-aawitan, sa special number, sa magbe-blessing report, sa, pag- sa pagbibigay, mahal na Panginoon, ng aming mga tithes and offering. Lalong-lalo na po, mahal na Panginoon, sa maghahayag po ng inyong salita, mahal na Panginoon. Lord, gamitin niyo po ang aming mahal na Bishop, Lord, as a channel of blessing, mahal na Panginoon, giving wisdom and knowledge, mahal na Panginoon. At Lord, ay handaan niyo rin po ang aming puso't isipan, mahal na Panginoon, as we listen to your words, mahal na Panginoon. At sana po, Lord, ay tumatak po ito sa aming puso't isipan at may apply po namin sa aming mga buhay, mahal na Panginoon. Muli po, Lord, nagpapasalamat po kami sa hapong ito, Lord, uh, kayo po ang gumabay sa aming programa, mahal na Panginoon. Ito'y lahat, Lord, inalapit ko po sa dakilat mga pangirin na pangalan ng Mahal na Jesus. 
Amen. Pwede na po tayong makupo. Thank you, Sister Chari, for that wonderful number. Tears are a language God understands. Amen? And this time, may I request everyone, let us all stand. Let us worship the Lord to our voices. Amen. And let us sing. This world is not my home. Let us give our all. Let us give our best. Let us sing this song. Verse 1. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? Angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. They're all expecting me, and that's one thing I know. My Savior pardoned me, and now I onward go. I know He'll take me through, though I am weak and poor, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Sing it loud, oh Lord, you know. I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Just hope in glory land, we'll live eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. Their songs of sweetest praise drift back from heaven's shore. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. 
praise God. It is great joy that one day we will all live in the mansions prepared for us. Amen? Amen. This time, let us sing when we all get to heaven. Amen. Verse 1. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions, bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place when we all, when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory on the first day. While we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sign. Now, now, when we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all. Sing and shout the victory on the last verse. Let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving every day. Just one glimpse of Him in glory will not source of life repay. When we all, when we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you for that wonderful singing. And this time, we don't want to miss the opportunity no, para po i-recognize yung ating mga visitors. Amen. This time po, meron po tayong visitor's card dito, no? Tayo po yung nagagalak that we have our visitors now. Uh, as we mentioned their name, please stand as we recognize them. We have here Christopher, Christopher O. Velasco. Amen. Welcome to Living Water Baptist Church, Brother Christopher. And also we have here Edita Velasco. Amen. Amen. Meron na po ba tayo na miss out na mga bisita na hindi po nabigyan ng ating visitor's card? Ayan, and later on, we have our special guests, no? our uh, friends, our partners in the ministry from America. No? Later on, our bishop will introduce them one by one. So, welcome to our visitors here in front, our visitors from America. Amen. Let's all stand up, please, as we welcome one another. Let us sing, Ligaya ng Buhay. Hey. Ligaya ng Buhay. Kung kilala mo si Kristo, ligaya ng buhay, kung siya'y manunubos mo. Babaguhin ang iyong buhay, kung siya ay makamtan, ang maging kay Kristo ay tunay na ligaya ng buhay. What a happy life it will be If you know my Savior Jesus What a happy life it will be If He is your Savior too He will change your life completely If you just accept Him too just receive your friends today And you'll have a happy life with Christ Ang maging kay Kristo ay tunay na ligaya ng buhay Amen Please remain standing po para po sa ating pagkakaloob Pero bago po tayo dumako po sa ating panalangin Ako po yung magbabasa po muna ng ilang puntalata talata. Sinasabi po sa verse Chronicle 29, verse 12, Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is made great, and to give strength unto all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. But who am I? 
and what is my people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort? For all things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. Sinasabi po na ang, ang ating po mga biyaya na tatanggap po ay mula po sa ating po Panginoon Diyos. May narapat lamang po natin na ibalik po natin sa Kanya ng buong puso at may kasiyahan po sa atin. Tayo po'y manalangin. Ang manamin Diyos na nasa langit, dinadakili at pinapapurayan ka po namin, Lord. Pinapasalamatan po, Lord, sa prebele yung kami po'y makakapagbalik po ng aming po mga biyaya na tanggap po mula po sa inyo, Lord. Lord, apakalinin sa inyo po ang aming po mga puso po, Lord. Patawarin niyo po kami sa aming pong mga nagawang kasalanan po, Lord. Lord, na ang aming pong maliligan po sa hapong ito, Lord, ay maging, mas, magagamit, magagamit pa po sa ikalalawag pa po ng gawain po, Lord. Sa inyo po namin itinataas ang lahat ng papuri, pasasalamat. Ito pong aming samod na langin sa pangalan ni Jesus sa aming tagapagligtas. Amen.
Amen. What a day that will be when our Jesus we will see. Amen. Blessing po lahat ng awitin na yan. And this time, blessing po ulit yung mapapakinggan natin. Tawagin po natin ang mag-blessing report. Magandang hapon po sa lahat po. Um, in behalf of our family po, we sincerely thank you, the church po, for supporting us and uh, being with us. Uh, we are grateful to God po for the undes undescribable peace and comfort that He showed on us during our journey. Um, hindi po madali, but by God's grace po, uh, makakayanan po namin to embrace the pain of losing mommy. Um, secondly, I would like to praise God for um, the life of Bishop, Thai Bishop. Um, thank you so much po for supporting us from the very start po for guiding us spiritually. Uh, the most na yung time na kailangan, kailangan po namin ng um, guidance po. You were there for us po. Um, sobrang thankful po kay God for your life for being there for us po. And then, um, uh, thank you rin po for constantly reminding us na kaming magkakapatid uh, since um, ulila na po kami. Uh, to be stick to one another and be as one. And um, of course, kasama na din po dun yung um, pag uh, hikayat namin kay kuya po namin na to, to be with us na din po in, kumbaga sa, sa gusto ni mami and to praise God uh, sa life po namin, and yun po. Um, and last, to our LWBC family, I also praise God for bringing us here. Uh, for the two years na nandito po kami, na feel po namin na we are part of the family, and uh, yung love and support nyo din po, Undeniably po, um, it makes yung grieving po namin na uh, mas, mas magaang po, mas nakakayanan po because of all your prayers and support po. Ayun, marami salamat sa Panginoon dahil dinala niya kami sa, sa LWBC po. Uh, thank you sa message din po ni Preacher J. Bess kaninang umaga. Um, na, parang um, it helps yung, yung message niya to is then yung nararamdaman namin na knowing that there we have a God na nag-orchestrate ng everything that is happening to us whether for good or for uh, bad it's because of uh, yun nga uh, pinagtatagi anto, wini-weave niya yung ating um, life to become more better uh, to become a better Christian mas buo, mas matatag yun lang po in, uh, to God be the glory po Thank you very much po sa blessing report na yan. Ano, salamat po sa buhay ni Nanay Belia na naging legacy po sa ating lahat. Yan. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, we really miss Nanay Belia. But we know that she's already in heaven. And she's very happy uh, now in heaven. So this afternoon, welcome to LWBC. Amen? So we are here today to worship the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord. And this afternoon, I would like to formally introduce to you our special guests, our special visitors. Okay, with us this afternoon, uh, they are actually two couples. So I would like to call uh, Brother Dave and Sister Lelaine Rosenbergs. I'm sure all of our regular viewers... Sa Feasting on the Divine Verses, familiar sa inyo yung Rosenbergs. Amen? So, actually, we consider them as partner, but to be more specific, they are actually partners of the Ministry of Victory Fundamental Baptist Church, particularly in our mission in Binyan under the leadership of Preacher Andre. So, we appreciate them so much. The effort, everything, the sacrifices. And please let us continue to pray for Brother Dave, especially uh, his uh, physical condition. 
that the Lord will continue to give him good health. So again, Brother Dave and Sister Lalaine Rosenbergs. And with them this afternoon is also a couple. God's wonderful couple. Amen? So I would like you to welcome our special guest, Brother David and Sister Dottie Gross. Amen. So... We are very happy to have you here this afternoon in our service. And this afternoon, I will call Brother Dave Rosenberg for the short message about the mission that the Lord put in his heart. Uh, actually, during the time of Pastor Eni Mabalot, their partnership is so great and he would like that partnership to continue. And because of that, he, uh, all of them are here for that purpose, for that reason. So this afternoon, I would like to call him to somehow express his heart to us. Good afternoon, church and everybody online. So first, I would like to say, Ang puso namin ay masaya. Masaya, masaya. <laughs> and for that means our hearts are so full of joy. So, first, why are we here? I'm going to turn to Hebrews chapter 10, verses 23 to 25 to start, and then I'll share. It says in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23 to 25, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and Amen. good deeds. Let us not give meeting together, let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. So first we're here to worship with you. It's Sunday. We Amen. want to worship with you. It's Amen. Sunday. We, it's, it's the day to worship. Second, we want to encourage you. We, we didn't come here to teach you anything, we came here to reinforce your ministry efforts that are already existing. Amen. We're here to encourage, to reinforce, to worship with you, and to share in the hope, that the same hope that you have, we have as well. Amen. In 2019, we started our initial planning for a mission trip with Victory Fundamental Baptist Church. You might remember, that was November and December. You might remember what happened in the, in the end of December, beginning of January of 2019, 2020. There was this little thing called Ta'al Volcano that just decided to make its presence known <laughs> all over the area. And then there was this other little thing called COVID that decided to make its presence known. Those things have prohibited our trip for almost four years. Praise the Lord, we're able to come. Why Amen. did we come? Amen. What does it say in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20? Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority, all, all authority, all power, all governance in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go Amen. and make disciples Amen. of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the end of the very age. Jesus didn't say send money. He didn't say send clothes. We do that. We, we, we do send a little bit of financial donations. We do have a little bit of, of clothing that we send. We do pray and this is not for people who are here. I should have started off by saying that. We are physically four people, but what does it say? It, where two or more are gathered in my name, there. I am there in, in the presence. So the four of us came with the Lord Jesus, but it wasn't the four of us. It's all of Dunn's Creek Baptist Church. Amen. They have been praying. They have been fundraising. They have been supporting for hey. the crafts that we're going to be doing and the Backyard Bible Club to reinforce the efforts of your ministry lines of operations. Jesus said, go. We are the people who are able 
to go that God chose for this particular trip so we could go and come here. Now, in Acts chapter 1-8, this is called the BMW verse. The, not the Bavarian Motor Works, but, <laughs> but the Be My Witness. So, for those of you who are uh, Bible verse memorizers, Acts 1-8, you should be able to remember this now. BMW, Be My Witnesses. Witness. Be My Witness. So, in it, Jesus said, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and the ends of the earth. Now, we came from Jacksonville, Florida. You can't get much more from the ends of the earth because it's halfway around the world to here. The only way to go further is to go off the earth. We're as far as we could go almost. So... And luckily, we had the opportunity to meet Bishop Freddie and also Pastor Kenneth Lugman when they were in Florida as well. So we are excited. We, we have been so welcomed by the Filipino hospitality. It's as if you said when we got here, Tuloy pukayo, huwag kong mahihiya. Don't be shy. Come in. Feel at home. And we have. Your hospitality has been wonderful and amazing. We had the opportunity to do some ministry uh, operations yesterday, and, and we look forward to all that, that we're going to be doing in the Backyard Bible Clubs. But when Jesus said, be my witness, how, do, how are we his witness? Well, two main ways. By our actions, when we act like a Christian, and by our, our words. And our words need to be sharing the words of Christ. So I have something amazing for you. We know that salvation is free, right? Jesus, it's free for us. It wasn't free. It, it, someone died on the cross, and that someone is Jesus. Hey. Jesus paid the price for our salvation. I have about a hundred cards here, and this is good not only in the Philippines but worldwide. This QR code will allow you to download the Gideon's Bible app. You don't have to use the QR code if you have access to the Google Store or to the Apple uh, Apple Store. You can get the Gideon Bible app for free. And here's some great news. It's in almost 2,000 languages, 2,000 languages. And, and this ministry is worldwide. You have mm -hmm. folks in France, England, Japan, Spain, and, and, and many other places. Many of those languages are available in this free Bible app, which and Tagalog and several other Filipino languages are on here. So I'll, I'll share this with the ushers, and then there's a, there's a hundred cards here, and the good thing is, it's not a one-time use. It's a continuous over and over again, and you don't even have to use the QR code. You can just look at the Gideon Bible app, and here's why it's important. So many of us have phones. Maybe you don't. If you don't, that's okay. It's important to still have a paper Bible. But if you do have a phone, you can carry this with you everywhere you go. And if you're in Japan, or if you're in France, or if you're in Spain, and you have this Bible app downloaded on your phone, you can read the Bible in your own language, and if you don't want to read for whatever that particular day, you could push a button, it will read to you. But even more important than that, it's in almost 2,000 other languages. So you might be able to minister to your friends if you're, if you're in a foreign nation, or to your friends who are online. Maybe you know folks who speak another language, and it doesn't have to be English. 2,000 languages that the Bible is on this free Bible app. So I encourage you to, to download it, to use it, to share it, and to share it with others because it's important that we share the message of Jesus and after we have helped to make fellow disciples, the key is sharing the words of Jesus and they're here for free. And then one of the other wonderful ways that we can share Jesus is through our talents. We had many folks who sang, we had some solos, we had a beautiful presentation with the bells, and I'm going to call my good friend and co-worker in the ministry, Brother David Gross, who is going to share a song. It's always a privilege to sing about the Lord, sing to the Lord, and sing the Lord's blessings. I'm glad to do that today. Lord. 
like the woman at the well I was seeking for things that could not satisfy. And then I heard my Savior speaking, draw from the well that never shall run dry. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord, come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me in this world who are seeking the pleasure earthly things afford but none could match the heavenly treasure that I find in Jesus Christ my So much praise the Lord. Oh, that should be our prayer. Fill my cup, Lord. Amen. Well, just for you to know, he's already 83 years old, but still loving the Lord, Amen. still laboring for the Lord and lifting up the name of the Lord. Amen. So, thank you so much. You are a blessing, Brother Dave, Brother David. And uh, just to clarify, they are not actually supporting me personally. They are supporting the mission of Victory Fundamental Baptist Church. So I would just like you to know that I appreciate them so much because it is really great and wonderful to have American brethren who really have a big heart for the ministry here in the Philippines. And please continue to pray for them, of course, for the team, for Danskrit Baptist Church, for their love, for the mission. Actually, not only here in the Philippines, as I understand, uh, to the other countries as well. So, uh, thank you so much. You are really a great blessing in the ministry here in the Philippines. Now, this time, 
Dadako na po tayo sa message. Amen? 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Let me request everyone to please get your Bible and let us open our Bible in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And I would like to share with you this afternoon the message of the Lord I entitled, Ministry is Partnership. Ministry is Partnership. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, beginning verse number 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one said, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man, I have planted. Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Now he that planted and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid a foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Again, the message of the Lord this afternoon, ministry is partnership. Let us pray. Our gracious, loving God, our Father in heaven, again, we would like to thank and praise you for your goodness. Thank you for allowing us to be together once again to hear the precious words. Lord, I pray that you will give me wisdom. May you guide me, O Lord, as I preach your message. May you reach the heart of the people. Encourage us, challenge us, talk to us, touch our hearts, O God. And please accomplish your will in our means. I would like to commit to you everything, Heavenly Father, especially this preaching. Help me, Lord, and empower me. This we pray in Christ's most precious name. Amen. Amen. You may now be seated. Upo na po tayo. Well, it is good for us to understand the background of this passage. So this is about the problem of the Corinthian church. And if we will talk about the problem of the Corinthian church, okay, right away, right away, ang papasok sa isip natin, carnality. And the manifestation of their carnality ito po ay hayag sa kanilang division. So the problem of this church, division. The problem of this church, disorderliness. The problem of this church is carnality. So because of that, the Apostle Paul, after receiving the news about what happened to them, it is recorded in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, sinasabi po roon that the house of Chloe, shared to Apostle Paul about the problem, about the contention. Nagkakaroon po ng mga inggitan, nagkakaroon po ng envying, strife, na ang sabi ni Apostle Pablo, manifestation ng carnality yan. Alam niyo mga kapatid, kinamit ni Apostle Paul ang pagkakataon nito to somehow enlighten their minds. For them to understand Christianity. For them to understand the ministry. And I believe, being a believer, it is really great and good for us to understand clearly things about the ministry. Magandang maintindihan po natin pag pinag-usapan ng ministry. Ministry is not Bishop Freddy De Vega. Ministry is not about any one of us here. Ministry is all about God. Amen? Ministry is all about God. So, when the Apostle Paul confronted them, when the Apostle Paul rebuked them, the message is very clear. At ito ngayon ang reason why I would like to emphasize to you the importance of partnership, particularly sa usapan po ng ministry. So the Apostle Paul rebuked them and told them, Who then is Paul and who is Apollos? But ministers. Amen? 
mga ministro kami ng Panginoon, mga manggagawa kami ng Panginoon. Now, the concern of the Apostle Paul is very important and the same thing that I would like all of us to realize here na ang gawain po dito hindi mag-grow pagka-divided po tayo. Hindi po mag-grow ang gawain ito. Kaya kahit saan ako pumunta, Ah, wherever I go, I am telling them that the reason why this ministry is growing, it is not because of the pastor. It is because of the teamwork, amen, of Living Water Baptist Church. Teamwork is very important. The pastor cannot do the work alone. No one can do the ministry alone. We need each other. No man liveth unto himself and no man dieth unto himself. That is the reason why in the Bible we can see how Jesus Christ, how God emphasized the importance of praying for one another, loving one another, exhorting one another, bearing one another's burden. So yan po ang reason why ito po'y binigyan ng emphasis sa salita ng Diyos. Mga kapatid, do you really believe that we need each other? We need them. We need everyone. In the ministry, we need each other. So, let me now share with you this very important message. Partnership. Partnership. Alam niyo po, the same thing na idiniin ni Apostol Pablo sa kanila, hindi po pwedeng sabihin ng kamay, hindi niya kailangan ng paa. Okay? So, in illustration, the Apostle Paul used the body for the believers to realize that we really need each other. That everybody is important in the sight of God. In the issue and in the area of the ministry, everybody is important. Wala pong masasabi nating uh, second class Christian, na Christianity. Ano ho? So, lahat po tayo, we are actually loved by God. Amen? Inibig po tayo ng Panginoon. Kaya pastor ka man, worker ka man, Sunday school teacher ka man, youth leader ka man, miyembro ka, choir member ka. Basta ang sasabihin ko po sa inyo, kung tayo po ay genuinely safe, kailangan po natin ng isa't isa at iniligtas ka ng Panginoon na hindi po pwedeng walang purpose. May dahilan kung bakit ka nandirito. Amen? Bawat isa sa atin, may dahilan kung bakit tayo nandirito. Dapat mag-function po tayo accordingly. Kung ikaw ang kamay, mag-function ka bilang kamay. Kung ikaw ang paa, mag-function ka bilang paa. It is very, very helpful for the church to see that every member of the church gumagawa po sa gawain ng Panginoon. Okay? Let us consider point number one. Okay, because the Apostle Paul emphasized that. For we are laborers together with God. We are God's husbandry. We are God's building. So, bawat isa po sa atin should realize na tayo po ay dapat partner sa usapan po ng gawain ng Panginoon. I remember in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, the Apostle Paul again said to them, We then as workers together with God. We are all God's co-laborer. So ministry is partnership. Let us now consider point number one, the basis of partnership. The basis of partnership. Po pwede bang kahit sino, partner po natin? Po pwede bang unbeliever, partner natin? Po pwede bang kulto, partner natin? Po pwede ba na yung mga masasabi nating atheist, partner natin? No! Spiritual standing is very important in partnership. So the basis of our partnership is spiritual standing. The Bible says, "Can two walk together except they be agreed?" And in Second Corinthians chapter six, the Apostle Paul told them, "Hey, believers, be ye not unequally yoked together with the unbelievers. Ah, it can't be." Hindi po pwede. So sa partnership, kinakailangan tayo pong lahat ay Kristiyano. Amen? Kinakailangan pong i-consider natin ang spiritual standing. 
Are you saved? Kung ikaw ay tunay na saved, ikaw ang isa sa dapat ka partner sa usapan ng ministry. Hindi po pwede na tayo po ay magmalaki. Hindi po pwede na titingnan po natin na kaya nating mag-isa that we can do the ministry alone. Hindi po pwede. We need to acknowledge and appreciate one another, mga kapatid. But again, the basis of our partnership, number one, is spiritual standing. Okay? Second, it is also good to consider as a basis in our partnership, our scriptural stand. What I mean to say, ano yung tinatayuan natin sa salita ng Panginoon? Hindi po pwedeng maging kapartner natin sa ministry ang nagtuturo ng losing salvation. Hindi po pwede na tayo po ay uh, firmly naniniwala sa eternal security because that is very clear in the Word of God that once saved, always saved. Amen? We believe in the eternal salvation. We believe in the eternal security. Romans chapter 8 and verse number 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. We believe in John chapter 10 verse number 27. 28 and 29 My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand my father which gave them is greater than all and no man is able to pluck you out of the father's hand we believe in the eternal security so it is not good that in partnership we will partner to those people or to those claiming believers or professing believers that believes in the teaching of losing salvation. Okay? So, about the deity of Christ, about the inspiration of the Holy Scripture, we need to consider in partnership the scriptural stand. Thirdly, sincere service is also one of our bases in partnership. So again, the basis of partnership, number one, is a spiritual standing. Number two, scriptural stand. Number three, sincere service. Mga kapatid, mahirap makapartner po yung hindi sincere. Mahirap pong makapartner yung nanggagamit lang. Mahirap pong maging kapartner yung nagpapanggap lang. Mahirap pong maging kapartner yung tamad. Mahirap pong maging kapartner yung walang bigat sa kaluluwa ng tao. In partnership, it is really great and wonderful na ang makasama po natin ay ang mga sinserong mananampalataya. Genuine believers. Sincere when it comes to service. Amen? So the reason why I am very confident and I'm very happy to tell the other people, even the pastors, that I am so blessed because living water para sa akin po, ha? Kayo po ang isa sa napaka sincerong kapartner sa gawain ito, amen? Because they are asking me, how come that the ministry is growing, considering that you are always out? You're always preaching to different churches. Why? Because of the many partners here in this ministry. Amen? I praise the Lord for the pastoral staff. I praise the Lord for the preachers of this church. I praise the Lord and I thank God for all the leaders here in this church and for the members who are very supportive and submissive. Those members that are sincere in the ministry of the Lord. Amen? The basis of partnership. How about The barricades of partnership. When we say barricades like blockages, blunders of partnership. Ano po yung mga sagabal? Ano po yung hadlang? Bakit ang partnership hindi nagwo-work? Ano po ang pwede makahadlang sa partnership? Okay? So, number one, pride and arrogance. Pride and arrogance. Pagka po sa ministry, ha, if, We will do the ministry as competition. Problema po yan. The Lord did not design the ministry na parang competition. No. Dapat po mga kapatid, collaboration. Dapat cooperation. Dapat complementing. Not competing. Okay? If you have your talent and the others also have their talents, that should be complementing. Amen? 
Hindi po pwedeng pagalingan. Hindi po pwedeng paligsahan. Mga kapatid, ni-rebuke ni Apostol Pablo yan. Yung kayabangan po nila. Yung pamimintas natin sa iba. Yung pagmamalaki natin sa iba. In fact, sa spirituality, it is very important to see na ang mana ng palataya, in spite of the fact that he is talented, in spite of the fact that he is gifted, hindi po siya proud mga minamahal. Ang isa sa manifestation ng spirituality, you will not think that you are better than others. Remember, when the Apostle Paul talked to the Philippi believers, he told them about that, na dapat yung spirit of unity, dapat nandun po yung lowliness of mind. Hindi po pwede na gagamitin ka ng Diyos if you are proud. God will not use the proud person. Why? Because according to His word, but God resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. So if you want God to use you in the ministry, be humble. When we say be humble, it means that you need to always acknowledge the grace of God in your life. That if not because of the grace of God, you are nothing, we are completely nothing. That is the good thing about the Apostle Paul. In the many achievements and accomplishments, in the ministry, his claim, It is all because of the grace of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse number 10, the Apostle Paul said, But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and His grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Amen? That kind of spirit, I believe, gagamitin po ng Panginoon para po ang ministry ay maging pinagpala. Amen? Pero kung magpapaliksaan tayo, kung magpapagalingan tayo, like those who are standing here in front, kung magpapaliksaan po yan, ah, mas magaling akong magpaawit. Hindi ho contest ito, mga minamahal. God is just giving us the opportunity to serve Him in spite of the fact that we are in reality undeserving and unworthy. So you better have the kind of heart that the Apostle Paul had. Ano po ang sabi ni Apostle Paul? Okay? In his claim, why he is very thankful, why he is very grateful, because he acknowledged the fact that he is unworthy, he is undeserving. That is why when he wrote to Timothy, he told Timothy, Hey, Timothy, 1 Timothy 1.12, And I thank Christ Jesus my Lord, who hath enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer, injurious persecutor, Uh, because I persecuted the church, but I did it ignorantly and in unbelief. And then, he emphasized the mercies of God. He emphasized the grace of God. In verse number 15, the Apostle Paul said, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 15, This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. If God is using you, don't be proud. Be praiseful. Amen? We should praise the Lord. We should thank the Lord. Okay? We need to appreciate the grace of God in our lives. Pride and arrogance. May hirapan po tayo sa ministry pagkapayabangan tayo dito. Kaya sana maging humble tayong katulad ni Pastor Poy. Amen? Hmm. ba? Diba? Sana maging humble tayong katulad ni PNG. ba? Diba? Nila, Pastor Jed, yung pastoral staff natin, alam niyo po ba mga kapatid, to tell you honestly, ha, in this ministry, kung tutusin ang hahalaga ng pangsyon nila eh. Mm, kanina, mukhang enjoy na enjoy ang ladies ha, sa napagandang fellowship po ninyo. Why? Because of the harmonious relationship. And you know the reason why you have that harmonious relationship? Because you are not proud. Kasi kung proud ka, mahirap makipagkaisa yung taong proud. Tama po? Ha? So kaya hindi ko po pwedeng sabihin, I am proud of you. I am proud of you. Hindi po pwede. Ha? So mga kapatid, gusto ko pong bigyang pansin po natin na sa ministry, 
ito ay partnership at dahil ito ay partnership, kailangan nating maramdaman na kailangan natin ng isa't isa. Just try to imagine, if you have that kind of thought, okay, that mentality na kailangan nyo ang isa't isa, magyayabang ka ba? Di ba? Alam niyo yung magyayabang? Yung antingin niya kahit wala sila. <laughs> Di ba? Ano pa kailam ko kung wala sila? Kahit wala sila, kayang-kaya ko yan. Ayan. So, kaya ang kayabangan galing sa root word na kaya. Okay? Ha? Kaya. Kayang-kaya ko yan. Kayabangan po yan. Eh, ako nga po, Pastor Ney, eh, kinikilala kong hindi ko kaya. Amen? Opo, kasi hindi naman po ang ministry eh, pa good looking ang mga kapatid eh. Kung ang ministry po ang basis, kailangan good looking ka, papano na ako? Okay, kabisado nyo na yan. Isang aba, hampas lupa, at pobreng? Oh, yan. Yung iba hindi pa rin ako kilala. Yung makiisa, ha? <laughs> So, mga kapatid, mga minamahal, yung pong taong kumikilala na kailangan niya ang isa't isa, yun po yung may humble spirit, mga kapatid. Okay, ano pa ang barricade sa tinatawag nating partnership? Not just pride and arrogance, but also personal agenda. Yes! <laughs> diba? Sometimes, diba, napipil nila na ginagamit mo lang sila. Okay? Yung bang idea na ang hakbang mo, ang gusto mo, kaya ka pala nakikisama, meron kang personal agenda. Mga kapatid, mga minamahal, kanina, binibigyang pansin ko po sa inyo, sincerity is very important. Amen? Alam nyo, ang pinakamasarap na kasama sa ministry, sincere. Alam nyo, ang pinakamasarap na kaibigan, sincere. Alam nyo, ang pinakamasarap na kapartner, sincere. Kapag ka po natuklasan mo na niloloko ka, kapag ka natuklasan mong iniisahan ka, pagka natuklasan mong ginagamit ka lang, ano ang mangyayari? Magsisimula ka ng dumistansya sa taong yan. Sira ang partnership. Ha? Sira ang partnership. Bakit? Dahil po doon sa personal agenda. Okay? Another barricade in partnership. Barricade of partnership. Alam niyo kung ano po? Preferences. Yeah. Preferences and assumptions. Diba? Yun ang reason kung ba't sinasabi ko, it is good to read books, it is good to read commentary, but please don't treat books and commentaries as equal to the Bible or to the Word of God. Our final authority and our final basis is the Word of God. So if the Bible is silent, we need to be silent too. The problem nowadays is that napakarami pong matatalino. In spite of the fact that the Bible is not particular, Okay? Sa kapresentation, I believe not just here in the Philippines. Even in America, problema din po yan. Division. Why? Because of preferences. Because of personal views, mga kapatid. If the Bible is shouting, kailangan po sumigaw tayo. If the Bible is silent, we need to be silent too. Because if it is that important, mga kapatid, I am very sure that the Bible will give us the exact detail about that particular thing. Tama? Kaya hu, huwag tayong mag-aaway-aaway dahil sa preferences lang. ba? Diba? Minsan, oh, bakit? Anong problema nyo sa choir? Eh, ayaw nila ng kulay nung napiling uniforme. Eh kapag ka po binigyan kayo ng pagkakataon na kayong lahat ang susundin, rainbow lagi ang atin pong ano. Ang choir uniform natin laging rainbow. Alam nyo kung bakit? Iba-iba tayo ng favorite color eh. Di ba? Mm. Yung iba, ang paborito niyang kulay, tanso. Di ba? Ay ang hirap naman niya pag natanso tayo, mga minamahal. So what I mean to say, kulay lang, pag-aawayan pa. Kurtina lang, pag-aawayan pa. Yung pong mga simpleng mga bagay, pinag-aawayan. Hindi healthy. Hindi po maganda, mga kapatid. I believe God is not happy kapag ka nakikita niya na nagkakagulo tayo. In fact, ang sabi ng Bible, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Hindi tayo dapat hatiin ang mga preferences natin. Hindi po ba? So, kaya napakahalaga po niyan. Yung iba po, pati yung program sa service, eh, ba't yung naatinan ko, hindi ganyan ang program nila? 
di ba? Ba't sa atin, meron pang panawagan, meron pang, di ba, uh, scripture reading, o bakit sa iba, walang scripture reading. Kinukumpara natin. Okay? Hindi rin po yan makatutulong, mga kapatid. Na ikukumpara natin. Program lang po yan. Wala po kayong mababasa sa Bible, kaya flexible po tayo. Di ba? O tulad ngayon, may bisita tayo. Medyo nag-ano po tayo ng ating programa. Okay, ma-open ka dahil nawala yung isang portion ng ang mahirap lang na preference ay eh yung ang umpisa ng service natin, closing prayer kagad. Di ba? Pero marami yatang mabebless sa ganun ah. Di ba? So, I believe mga kapatid, mukhang justifiable and valid na ma-open ka if the service will start in closing prayer. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> the, di ba? Simula nung service, opening prayer. So, mga kapatid, napakaganda po na makita natin yung mga hadlang, di ba? Barricades of partnership. Okay? Let us consider point number three, the blessing of partnership. After reading 1 Corinthians chapter 3, I believe, makikita nyo po yung blessing. Di ba? The blessing of partnership. Number one, together we will reap. Amen? Together, we will reap. Why? Because we are working as a team. Kumbaga, hindi po pwedeng magka-team tayo pagka nanalo yung isa, di ba? Hindi ka kasama. Team nga eh. Di ba? Kaya hindi masarap kasama yung buaya sa basketball. Alam niyo po ba yung buaya sa basketball? Di ba? Eh siguro sa, sa suot, maganda yan. Buaya, lakos ang dating eh. Pero kung ang laro mo lakos, eh mga kapatid, medyo ha, maapektuhan po yung mga kakampi po natin. So, it is good to be reminded folks that in the ministry, particularly in partnership, together we will reap. So, we are actually serving God as a church. Di ba? Everything na gagawin natin. Yan nga ang dahilan kung bakit ayaw natin ng mga miyembrong pa-impress eh. Ayaw natin ng mga miyembrong pasikat sa iba eh. Hindi po maganda na miyembro ka ng church na ito, lumalabas ka. Hindi maganda na miyembro ka ng church na ito kung kani-kanino ka nakikipag-work together, mga kapatid. Kung ikaw ay miyembro ng church na ito, ito ang unang katim mo sa usapan ng gawain. Amen? So kaya yun ang papagtibayin po natin. We need to strengthen that in as church, mga kapatid. Once na tayo po ay mayroong pag-ani, sino ang dapat natutuwa? Lahat tayo. So together, we will reap. May nagtatanim, may nagdidilig, ang Diyos ang nagbibigay ng kalaguan. And I would like every one of you to know that in partnership, together we will reap. Of course, together we will rejoice. Amen? Together we will rejoice. Ibig sabihin, dahil ang spirit at ang mentality mo, team tayo, hindi po pwedeng hindi ka magiging masaya. That is the reason why the Apostle Paul uh, taught the believers na dapat ang attitude natin, rejoice with them that do rejoice. ba? Diba? It is good to have that kind of attitude. May blessing report, you should shout Amen. You should appreciate the blessing of our brothers and sisters. Why? Because we are in a team, as one team in the Lord. Amen? So together, we will reap. Together, we will rejoice. And hey, together, we will be rewarded. Amen? Together, we will be rewarded. Alam nyo po, kaya si Nanay Belia, para sa akin, ang isa sa comfort, hindi lang po yung idea na nasa langit na siya ngayon. Because in spite of her age, nakita natin that she faithfully served God. ba? Diba? She dedicate her life to God. So yan po, si Nanay Belia. Kaya sa pamilya, yun ang sasabihin ko sa inyong comfort. One day, she will be resurrected. One day, reunion day. And one day, all of us believers will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For what reason? For what purpose? We will all stand before God to give an account to God. And if you will remember the vision of John the Beloved in the island of Patmos, 
Okay? Revelation chapter 22 and verse number 12. And behold, in His vision, anong nakita niya? That our Lord Jesus Christ is coming with haste. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Mga kapatid, mga minamahal, it is good na honor ka sa klase. Congratulations sa lahat ng mga estudyante natin na talagang deserve nila yung honor sapagkat nag-aral po silang mabuti. That is not bad. That is actually good. Nakaka-proud po yan bilang miyembro ng church na ito. Nakikirejoice kami sa inyo. But let me tell you this, that when we, we, we face God in the judgment seat of Christ, hindi yung honor mo sa school ang sentro doon. Ha? Hindi yung pagiging MVP mo sa basketball ang sentro doon. When we stand before God, ang issue doon, ano ang ginawa mo para sa Panginoon? You know, ang pinakamatamis na statement na maririnig natin when we face God, alam niyo ko ano? Well done. Good and faithful servant, enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Anong sinesentrohan? Good and faithful servant. One day, all of us, we will surely stand before the judgment seat of Christ to give an account to God. Wow! The message of the choir special number, what a day that will be. When my Jesus, I shall see. Diba? One day, we will stand before the Lord. Ang tanong, pagharap mo sa Kanya, kamusta po tayo? Alam niyo po, like in partnership, like the M Foundation, what they are investing in the ministry here in the Philippines, supporting so many missionaries here in the Philippines, all over the country, That is actually an investment. And one day, when we stand before the Lord, I'm very sure that Pastor Tim, Pastor John Archie, and all the partners of the AIM Foundation will rejoice together, we will reap together, and we will be rewarded. Together, we will be rewarded. So the same thing, Brother Dave, Dance Creek, Baptist Church, To what you are doing now in the ministry of Victory Punabental Baptist Church, you are from America and you are helping and supporting the ministry here in the Philippines. One day when we when we stand before God, we will surely receive a reward. Why? Because our God is the faithful rewarder. A faithful rewarder. The righteous judge. That is why the Apostle Paul, when he uh, told Timothy about you know his uh, preparation, you know what he said? Second Timothy chapter four, verse six, seven, and eight. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure, meaning the time of my death, is at hand. You know what he said? I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. In verse number 8, Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love His appearing. There are many crowns and rewards mentioned in the Word of God. And the Lord designed that reward and crowns For those who serve Him faithfully. If you are a soul winner, may crown of rejoicing. Once na ikaw ay nagsuffer for the name of Christ, merong crown of life. Once na ikaw ay ready for the second coming, merong crown of righteousness. Once na ikaw ay talagang masasabi po nating nagstrive, merong incorruptible crown. At kapag ka ikaw ay pastor at tagapagturo, When you, being a pastor, serve God faithfully, there is that crown of glory. So one day, all of us will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. I am referring to all believers this afternoon. Ministry is partnership. 
So let us work together for God as a team. And we appreciate you. We appreciate the Dance Creek Baptist Church. We appreciate the AIM Foundation helping the ministry here in the Philippines. Because in reality, we are one team for the Lord. So this time, dapat makita natin, dapat ma-realize natin that ministry is not a one-man show. Ministry is partnership. For we are laborers together with God. Let us all stand up, please. Yumuko tayong lahat at pumikit. Members of the church, I know that God has a purpose to emphasize this very important message. The message about partnership. To remind everyone, hey, ministry is partnership. The question now is that, are you willing? Are you willing na ikaw ay maging kapartner sa usapan ng ministeryo? Willing ka ba na makipagkaisa? Na pag-aralan po natin the basis of partnership, the barricades of partnership, and the blessings of partnership. If the Lord touched your heart, if the Lord talked to you, if the Holy Spirit is convicting you, can you leave your place? Can you go to the altar? Can you pray and tell God, Lord, thank you for rebuking me this afternoon. Thank you for reminding me through this message. I realize that the message is right. The message is true. I cannot do the work alone. Our pastor cannot do the work alone. We need partnership. Be willing to be considered as one. Let us humbly pray na gamitin tayo ng Panginoon. Let us sincerely pray, Lord, use us. May you continue to use this church for the furtherance of the gospel. May you continue to use this church to praise your name. May you continue to use this church to exalt your glory. May you continue to use each and every one of us in this church, O oh Lord. You pray. You pray. Pray to God. I believe God is listening to us, especially if you are sincere this afternoon. If the Lord gave you talent, use that talent for His glory as a team. And every time that God is giving you the opportunity to serve, every time that God is using you, stay humble and acknowledge the grace of God. For us to love one another, let us acknowledge the fact that we need each other. Our gracious, loving Father, Thank you so much for talking to us this afternoon. Thank you for your powerful word. Thank you for this very important reminder. Lord, thank you even for the realization. We are here, Lord, humbling ourselves before you. Lord, please use us for your glory. Lord, use us as an instrument of your blessing. Use us together for the furtherance of the gospel to reach and win more souls, Heavenly Father. Thank you so much for the blessing of partnership. Lord, thank you for everything. May you continue to bless this ministry, O Lord. May you continue to bless our church, O God. Help me, Lord, that I may encourage everyone to serve together, to pray together, to work together for your glory and for your honor and the further, for the furtherance of your kingdom, Heavenly Father. Lord, please, continue to work in the heart of the individual. Continue to operate in our lives, O God. Again, we thank you and praise you for everything. We bring back all the glory, honor, and praises to you and to you alone. Please listen to our prayer, O God. 
For all of these things we ask in Christ's most precious name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed today? Praise the Lord. And let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being a good partner in the ministry. God knows that you are very much appreciated. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating pong mahal na bishop. And this time po, tayo naman po ay ating pong isi-celebrate ang kaarawan po, of course, in advance ng ating pong mahal na mahal na asawa po natin pong mahal na bishop, Ma'am Marisa De Vega. And po, later on, um, we will give this to our ushers and then later on, you can get your copy uh, dun sa mga ushers po natin. Thank you very much, Brother Dave. So, ilagay ko po muna dito. Okay, this time, uh, at atin pong isi-celebrate ang birthday po na atin pong Ma'am Maris. Alam po natin, mahal na mahal po natin ang atin pong Ma'am Maris, lalo na siya po ay isang very effective partner po ng atin pong mahal na bishop sa ministeryo. And we couldn't ask for more, Ma'am Mar uh, Ma Maris, no? Sa iyong pag-aalaga po sa amin pong mahal na bishop. Kaya naman, pwede po ba natin matawagan po? Alam ko po, ang ating pong mamaris, very low profile po yan eh. Nahihiya po siya sa ganito. Pero mamaris, hindi niyo po kami pipigilan dahil mahal na mahal po namin kayo. Okay po, kaya pwede po mapatulong po, mamaris. And Bishop, samahan niyo na po siguro si mamaris. Ayan. Okay, uh, from the heart of our church, Living Water Baptist Church, and of course, our dear Bishop Freddy De Vega, ating pong awitan ng ating mamaris ng blessed birthday sa July 4 po. Ang exactong birthday po ng ating pong Ma'am Maris, pero hindi ba patalo ang church? Gusto natin, ngayon mismo i-celebrate po natin, no? Gawin muna natin July 4, ang araw po na ito. Awitan po natin ng masaya, ng blessed birthday po ang ating pong Ma'am Maris. Ayan, may bukay pa si Bishop, okay? Everybody, let's sing blessed birthday! Blessed birthday to you, blessed birthday to you, blessed birthday, God loves you. Blessed birthday to you. One more time. Blessed birthday to you, blessed birthday to you, blessed birthday, we love you. Blessed birthday to you. And of course, meron din po yatang um, bouquet galing po sa church workers. Ayan, and then we also have, yeah, yung cake po na galing din po sa ladies fellowship. I think meron din silang something for Ma'am Maliz. If I'm not mistaken, ayan, meron din pong bouquet from the ladies fellowship. Ayan, Ma'am Maliz, paminin lang po kayo ng bouquet na gusto nyo po. <laughs> ayan. Opo, tatayo po kayo dyan. Okay, may corona. <laughs> o, in advance na po namin yung crown niya po, mamaris. No? <laughs> Ayan. Ayan, blessed birthday po, mamaris. At siguro po, tatawagan ko po no, yung uh, quartet po natin. Nakasama po, of course, yung anak po ni Mama Liz at Bishop, si Sophia. Tawagan po natin yung quartet. And then, habang kumakanta po sila, unahin po natin siguro no, supporters, servants, and then stewards, and then seekers. Lapit po tayo kay Mama Liz. Let's give our gifts to Mama Liz. Ngayon, kung wala po kayong regalo, okay lang po yan. Lapit pa rin po kayo kay Mama Liz and um, batiin po natin siya. So, may regalo man o wala, lapit pa rin po kay Mama Liz. So, tawagin po natin yung quartet. So, while they are singing, una na po ang supporters and then sunod po ay servants and then um, stewards and then seekers po. Okay. Sige po, supporters. Uh, Pichoy Nathan, let's um, lead them na. Lahat po ng supporters, lapit Hello. po. Hello. Greet Mama Marie's uh, very blessed birthday and then give your gifts as well.
Hello, hello. Hello. Okay po. So after na lang po ng ano ng ng song sa kapwa tayo lapit po. Actually, talagang fit na fit din po ito sa pamilya po ng ating mahal na bishop na nagsuko po ng buhay para po i-declara po no, ang gospel po ng Panginoon. No? So, Mama Liz and even Bishop Sophia, thank you for for dedicating your life to the Lord na kaming lahat po ay nakikinabang. So, this time, tawagin naman po natin. Tapos na po ba ang supporters? Hindi pa po. Sige po, lahat po ng supporters na hindi po tapos yung mabigay ng gifts to Mama Liz. Please come forward to be followed by uh, team servants. Ayan. Siguro po, pila-pila na po. Pastor Nolan, sunod na po ang servants. And then stewards, um, you're next. Tuloy-tuloy na po. And then stewards po, ang kasunod po. Uh, prepare na rin po kayo. Deacon John, please, yung stewards naman po, and then Pastor Orson, sunod na po natin yung uh, seekers. Seekers? Ay, sorry, stewards, stewards. Okay, let's call on po, stewards, and then seekers, sabay na rin po kayo.
Okay, lahat po ng seekers, magpipicture daw po kasi seekers po si Mama Lee. So, ako, picture daw po. Okay, after this po, siguro isa-isang per group na rin po, no? Ang next po dyan, lahat naman po ng supporters with Ma'am Maris para, ano, fair, no? Sa bawat grupo po. Ayan, ang kasunod po, supporters, double time po, no? Ano po tayo, punta po tayo sa pulpit for your photo opportunity with Ma'am Maris. Okay, punta naman po. Ngayon naman po, supporters naman po. And then, kasunod po, servants, your next... Servants. Okay, smile. Okay, servants, naman po, servants. Tayo po tayo, and then. Have your photo opportunity with memories. And then up next, keywords. Next po, stewards. Thank you, servants. Now, let's go to stewards. Okay, picture na po, stewards. With our American guests, please, and Bishop.
And this time, we will hear a very short message from our dear Mom Marie's. Uh, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. As usual po, hindi ko na naman po in-expect na meron pong pasabog ang LWBC. Pero hindi ko siya in-expect, pero lagi akong naglalagay sa sarili ko ng baka mamaya may surprise yung church. Pero iniisip ko, parang too early pa for the surprise. Pero year after year po, lagi po ang sinasabi sa Panginoon na uh, hindi ko talaga deserve yung ganitong treatment uh, from the church sa bawat miyembro dito, sa Living Water Family. Uh, alam ko sa sarili ko na hindi ko po deserve yan. Pero salamat sa Panginoon dahil kahit na hindi ako deserving sa sa ganitong treatment, patuloy niyang binubuhos yung ganitong klaseng treatment na talagang uh, in spite of pagiging mahiyain ko, nahihiya ako sa Panginoon kasi alam kong hindi talaga ako deserve. Pero patuloy niyang ibinibigay, patuloy niyang ibinubuhos, patuloy niyang pinapadama sa akin yung lahat ng blessing, lahat ng, uh, ng biyaya na binibigay niya po hindi lang po sa aming family, kundi uh, personally po para sa akin. At church, totoo po yung sasabihin ko na uh, mahal na mahal ko po kayo kahit na hindi ko po siya napapadama. Alam ko, hindi ko kayang ipadama sa inyo. Uh, dahil siguro sa personality ko na nahihiya kong magpadama ng concern, ng love. Pero uh, alam po ng Panginoon kung gaano ko po kayo kamahal. Uh, kahit na tahimik lang po ako lagi sa likod, lahat po ng galaw nyo, lahat ng galaw ng mga anak nyo, alam ko po at uh, lagi ko po kayo sinasama sa prayer. Uh, hindi ko alam kung paano ko i-express yung pasasalamat ko uh, sa inyong lahat, pero alam ng Panginoon na ganun yung laki ng pasasalamat meron ako para sa bawat isa. Yun lang pong uh, i-treat nyo, i-respect nyo, i-galang nyo, i-love nyo si Bishop. Enough na po sa akin yun na, na makita at madama. Pero yung love na pinapakita nyo po sa akin, especially sa mga ganitong okasyon, uh, sobrang sapat-sapat yun at lagi ko pong ite-treasure yun. Ngayon, habang ako'y nabubuhay, uh, hindi ko alam kung paano ko ipapadamis papadama sa inyo, pero God knows, mahal ko po kayo. Sana po patuloy po nating ipagpatuloy yung love na meron po tayo sa isa't isa kasi iyon yung nagpapatibay na talagang talagang alagad tayo ng Panginoon. Marami salamat po at salamat din po sa ganitong presentation, ganitong preparation para sa akin. I love you all po. God bless po. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating pong mamaris at wag po kayo uuwi dahil nag-prepare po ang bawat isa po ng pagkain po. So may pagkain po. Sabi walang pangat naman po may birthday pero walang handaan. So may handaan po tayo. No? Sige po, tayo po tayong lahat. Okay, Church, thank you so much. Ha? Thank you for that godly gesture. So that is the reason why I love this church so much. And uh, sana hanggang bumalik ang Panginoon, magkakasama po tayo. Amen? So again, thank you so much. And uh, I know that this is a uh, big encouragement for my wife. You know, the sacrifice of the family of the pastor. Uh, even though we are always saying that to serve God is a privilege, but on the human side, we know that there are some sacrifices, particularly on the part of the family, But here in our church, I can say that my wife and even Sophia, uh, we as family appreciated this church so much. We love you all in the Lord. And I would like to give you the verse, Philippians 4.19. Because of your godly gesture to us, to my family, but my God shall supply all your needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So, sa lahat po sa inyo, maraming maraming salamat. Palakpakan natin may birthday. Happy birthday, Ma. Happy birthday. Ma, kung nasa saan ka man ngayon, gusto kong malaman mo na sobrang, ano, sobrang appreciated ko kayo ni Sophia. 
sa buhay ko, inspirasyon ko kayo. And the reason why I am, you know, uh, giving my best sa Panginoon, it is because nandyan kayo na very understanding. <laughs> Hindi pala ako may birthday, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sige po, tayo po yung manalangin lang at paalim po sa pagkain. Let us pray. Dear Father in Heaven, we thank you for this wonderful afternoon that you have given us, for all the encouragement that you have given us, Lord, especially, Lord, sa preaching po na aming pumahal na bishop. Indeed, Lord, it is a blessing that we have partnerships in the ministry. And sana pa nga, this, is, uh, this should be our heart as we serve you, that we will have a blessed partnership with each other as we um, long for your coming, O God. Lord, um, ang aming pong kakainin, Panginoon, maging kalakasan po na aming katawan. Please bless the food that we are about to eat. And please give um, more blessings, Lord, to the Vega family, especially to Mama Liz, who will be celebrating her birthday, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for her life. We thank you for her love for us. We thank you, Lord, for her dedication, Lord, especially in offering their lives, Lord, to the ministry. Lord, patuloy niyo po siyang pagpalain. Gamitin pa po, Panginoon, sa ikalalawig ng iyong ministeryo, sa ikalalakas ng mga tao, Panginoon, ng mga manan ng palataya. At nawa, Panginoon, ay patuloy po siyang maging good example sa lahat po ng mga kababaihan, especially po sa Living Water Baptist Church. Thank you for everything, O God. Thank you for Mama Liz. Please bless her more, O God. Please bless the the family of our bishop, even Sophia, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ayan po, sa mga kasama po natin online, dito na yung pinatapos sa ating pong worship service. Sa mga kasama po natin dito, stay lang po kayo as we fix our food, no? Upo na lang po muna.